Okay, I gotta say the uh, Alyssa McConte story is absolutely ridiculous. Today we're going to look at what happened with farm folks and Alyssa McConte from Kotaku because this has to be said and it's absolutely deplorable that once again we see Kotaku doing Kotaku things. Well, you know, I gotta say, I, I, I said I was gonna make a proper video on this because that's what I need to do. Uh, in doing this in the vehicle, it, it, it does not do it justice. And Alyssa McConte, with her record in the last few months, is absolutely deplorable. Uh, going after Mark Kern, an uh, ex-Blizzard employee, uh, going after people that like Stellar Blade, going after gamers in general because they don't like the censorship in video games. And now we're learning that Farm Folk CEO, words were completely taken out of context, completely misscrewed by Alyssa Mercante, and she just sits there and goes, you know what, suck it up, because that's the story that she's going with. Apparently she doesn't owe anything to anybody for being a games journalist, uh, lack of being an actual journalist at this point, because she injects herself and becomes the story. Anyway, before we fully get into this video, share, like, and subscribe to the channel. I cannot emphasize this enough. Subscribe to the channel. I've been around here for a very long time. I've been doing this this YouTube channel at least for five years, if not more. This channel is actually 10 years old. That's when I created the account. But I've been around here for a long time. So subscribe to the channel today. Maybe we can all learn something more together. Farm Folk CEO claims Kotaku's Alyssa McCante intentionally misrepresented his comments and he did not imply to describe gamers as incels. And I have taken a little bit of the look at this. This is also, you know, this is by That Park Place. They've been doing some amazing work in the gaming sphere as of late, just trying to get the word out of what's going on in video games. And it's absolutely deplorable. Um, this is another one that's here. This one is from a couple days ago. Kotaku senior editor Alyssa Makante continues to attack Mark Kern, shares her disdain for gamers pushing back against corporations. This has been the number one thing right now in video games is all these corporations have, they have their own set. They, they're sitting there trying to milk as much money out of the gamers, but at at the same time they're dictating the rules and saying we're going to censor everything we're going to inject diversity and inclusion which doesn't it, it just creates affirmative action that completely denigrates the the video games market and it no longer makes it something that people want to enjoy it just makes it very bland and very very much the birth of the mpc meme but Today with Melissa McConte, we've got Alex Koshinov. Uh, hi, Alyssa. You've been using me as a tool against your nemesis, and I'm not sure if it was intentional or accidental. You misrepresented a few of my points in our dialogue. You agreed that it's all cool to have women's breasts movement in games. You reached out to me for clarification yourself and then refused to share it with your readers on X. And this all stems from farm folks. They put up a tweet uh, originally talking about how they wanted input on how much is the proper amount of breast jiggle out there. Then, then this post got um, got completely uh, brigaded. You've got people like Black Girls Gamers. You've got a lot of these SJW types sitting there saying you cannot ask questions like this. It's almost as if they asked a woman her age at this point. That is the the style of thing that this was for a video game. I believe genuinely they were trying to ask the public and say, listen, we are putting breast physics or jiggle physics into our video games. How much is too much no, jiggle physics? And you know what? This is something I said in my original video with, with all of it. That's not a bad thing. It's that's now the bar. Where Where is the bar? Oh, is zero allowed? Is none allowed? You have to completely remove the breasts from, from women completely? That's where we are today. Where, for some reason, talking about women's breasts 
bouncing up and down in a video game is so degrading to these journalists, to these SJWs, that it now has become the number one thing for them to attack. Now, it got so bad that farm folks put out an apology. And this, this is a number one mistake. I think they should just take it down. Uh, this apology does absolutely nothing to curtail and actually just loses them customers, but they are slowly regaining this by, by ta and talking about how Alyssa Mercante from Kotaku completely misgrooted his words. Uh, I said this to, to him during the interview, but farm folks CEO attempts to not be political are very naive to the current climate. His replies are very telling. Well, the current climate is uh, Kotaku editors or Kotaku style journalists, in this case, Alyssa Magante, doesn't like what she sees in something, sits there and brigaded someone. And recently she contacted someone's wife. Yeah, and this thread over the wife contact is here. Uh, from Alyssa McConte saying that she, if someone had, someone's husband was doing this, uh, they wouldn't be too proud of it. And what she's talking about here is Smash JT. Never thought I'd be and get so much pleasure over Alyssa McConte spurging out about me, but here we are. Hashtag and Kutaku. And that hashtag and Kutaku, if you scroll down here, uh, and you didn't just retweet a man that has been talking about ex executing me. Uh, you added a end hash you know, Kotaku hashtag. That apparently is inciting violence. That end Kotaku hashtag is a hashtag that has now been created. There's, I believe, even a petition out there to end the gaming or the game journalist company because they're not being game journalists. They are going off the handle against people and then Alyssa going after Smash JT's wife. Anyway, I found your wife's Facebook and asked her what she thinks about the father of her children uh, harassing a woman online and laughing when she shares someone that's supporting has been threatening to kill them for weeks. I, I don't believe that's the case. Um, there, there is a picture here of a few thumbnails where there's a gun, Hell Sweeper Wrath update uh, versus anti woke mod, um, and apparently a threat to America. I don't even know what this is. Like, I, I don't even know what this is, and this is just creating a Streisand effect at this point. Uh, you got pulled into a culture war because you don't have a community manager. A community manager, because you know, community managers, if you look at Helldivers 2 community where the, the managers are getting fired and everything is, is just up in turmoil in that community, but you need a community manager now just so we know who the people are, in, so we know that people are dictating the uh, narrative. So you have someone to speak to with in those communities, but they are power hungry hall monitors at this point. If they don't like what they, if they don't like the narrative being tossed, if they don't play nice with those journalists, then they get completely degraded and they get completely roasted by these journalists that have a very, very strong reach. You know what? Make all the content you want, Alyssa, because the internet is seeing who you really are. And recently, Kutako fired another bunch of staff over there. I'm not surprised. I, I don't even know how this company, how Kotaku is still sitting there on their own two legs at this point. Oh wait, they're not. They're being propped up by Geo Media just to keep them afloat. How, how are those game guides really coming along? Who knew that titty physics wasn't the move, Chief? Then you apologize. Then the titty physics gooners got mad that you apologize. And then I interviewed you. That and them's the breaks. Well, you know what? You know what? You you're sitting there being very condescending here with your your tweets to Alex and pretty much telling him that oh, tough luck. You know what? This is the this is the bed you lived in and this is the bed you made. No, this is the bed that Alyssa propped up and sat there and tore apart because she wants to have a piece of it. But by doing so, she becomes part of the story. She completely misrepresented this guy.
So they had a Discord conversation and it's pretty telling really where Alyssa stands. Hi Alex, I noticed that I've been you've been replying to people saying I intentionally misrepresented one of your quotes. What did you mean to say? I recorded our entire conversation and went over with transcript. Hi Alyssa, I strongly believe the sentence was taken out of context to support a Pacific narrative and goal. This is what these these companies do. This is what these journalists, these game journalists do and why majority of us here on YouTube, majority of us sitting here talking about these things refuse to speak to these journalists because we know they will be taken out of context. We know they're going to spin a narrative that wants to prop that up. I believe it's part of a larger context where you and I agreed that having a a breast physics in the game is acceptable. The quote that you shared was my response to people that are offended by the breast movement in the game. I'm clarifying what I meant since it seems it was taken uh, out of bigger context and I probably didn't choose the best words to express this. I didn't intend to hurt anyone or call names, but it's being interpreted that way. Now, now I have to say the perpetually what is it? offended the potentially offended people in these situations they're just going to find offense no matter what you say no matter what you say and I, i've come to accept that i've come to accept that i sit here with the youtube channel i will never never be able to please everybody on it and that is the way things are if you get a, upset by what I say here on the channel. If you really do get upset by that, I, I there's nothing I can do. There's going to be absolutely nothing I can do. People can apologize, people can try and walk things back, people can do everything, but when you get upset over it, it, it it's time to click off the video and leave. That, that That's plain and simple, That's that's the easiest part of it all. People are harassing me because of my point is misrepresented as well. Now, this is something that we see on you know, with a lot of things. People, people that are sitting there harassing, just don't do it. Um, try not to. You know, there's constructive criticism, which I have taken quite a bit. And when people bring it up, uh, I, I sit there and I react to it. And you know, there's certain things that I know what I feel or what I believe, what I've done, the research on, there's certain things that I believe are that case. By my breast movement in the game, I'm clarifying what I meant since it seems it was taken out of bigger context and I probably didn't choose the best words to express it. I didn't intend to hurt anyone or call names, but it's being interpreted this way now. Alyssa, so you want me to include this statement? Are you denying what you said, what I had quoted? Is that what I said, that I'm denying it? I'm, I, I'm explaining what I meant. I thought you said this, uh, you'll post clarification. Alyssa put a post on Twitter. It was brought to our attention. The Crypto CEO is replying to people uh, saying, I'm, uh, I misrepresented one of these quotes. I reached out to him on Discord and asked him if he felt misrepresented. The entire section of our over hour long conversation unedited is now. So she posts everything. Your statement is at the end of the piece. Is this in your tweet? Because I don't see it there. Uh, my tweet is not the piece. It is in the piece. You don't think it's important to clarify it there as well? It's in the piece. I got that. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, it in your tweet, you were saying it reached me for clarification. Then you didn't include it. Just feels a bit off and probably is going to mislead your readers still. I'm not a service, you don't get to dictate how I represent you, goodbye. And this is the game journalist uh, world we live in today. Uh, unfortunately, this is where Alyssa McCante really wanted to take it. While it just seems that Alex here has uh, been kind of misrepresented, uh, they're still trying to put the female form into the game, but when we have Alyssa sitting there misconstruing apparently what Alex said, you got to sit there and question what's going on here. The CEO of Farm Folks is just trying to make a game. The fact, I think at this point, the fact that the, he went out on the limb to put out there how much is too much jiggle, I think goes to show they're just trying to be genuine with their game and trying to push it forward. Unlike Alyssa here, who is just trying to use this as 
a place to create a story that's inflammatory at best. Where does this really go? Well, it's up for you guys to decide. Farm folks, I, I think the apology they put out there was, was unfounded, was not needed. A lot of people attack them and you see the one side of the coin that attacked them and including Alyssa here. Uh, and once again, this is the game journalist from Kotaku, just kind of twisting the words up and stirring up more controversy. Anyway, I'm your product name, Phoenix Cineshadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a great day. I will see you again very soon.